hello and what's up, my favorite people. Today, I am going to create this. And this. These are Instagram feeds with pop-up images. Something like this. Oh, just kidding. So, these are the images I'm going to use. You can download these from description. And from these stock images I'll be creating these two images. And by the way my friend if you are new here let me tell you that you are on the right place, you are watching Pix Editing Zone. For more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon because it means a lot to me. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video. So, first of all create a new page of any size you want, I'm using this size, so that I can adjust both of the pictures I'm going to create. Now, open the smartphone PNG file. Drag it to the white page. Now, press Ctrl plus T for transformation. And adjust the size. Now, open the Instagram feed. Drag it to the working page. Commander press Ctrl plus T for transformation. And adjust the size. Hold Shift plus Alt key while transforming because it never loses its perspective. Drag it down from the phone's PNG layer. Let me adjust it again. Remove the corners using eraser tool. Let's open the another Instagram feed. Watch me, how I'm adjusting it. It is just like the previous process I did. Open the landscape background. Drag it to the working page. And adjust it. Select the both layers of Instagram feed by holding Ctrl key. Right click and merge layers. Now, crop it like I'm doing. and press Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selected area. Now, do the same for the upper area. Bring both the layers up on the background layer. Select the eraser tool and remove the unwanted area. Mm -hmm. 
Now, let's open our PNG model. Drag it to the working page. Adjust the size. Bring the layer beneath the phone's PNG layer. Adjust it. Make a copy of it. Disable the upper layer. And double click the down layer. And do the same process I'm going to do now. Done. Now, using arrow keys adjust the shadow. When you are done, take a racer tool and remove the upper area of the shadow layer. That's it. We are done with one photo. Now, let's try the other one with the same method. This time I'm not saying anything. Just watch and learn it. Guess the tools and shortcut keys I'm using. I have done it before. This is a part of teaching and learning. So, pay attention to the video and move to create. Let's change the background from white color because the Instagram feed is not much visible, both have the same white color. This background is temporary. By the way, if you want the Instagram feed PSD file, you can download it from the description. Stock images link is given in the description. You can download for free.
That's it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Subscribe my channel. I'll upload more creative videos. Like the video if you learn anything from this tutorial. See you in next video. Peace.